So the first product I have is the Pinoa Water Foundation. And this foundation is meant to be non-comogenic, so it won't clog your pores. It also is a light to medium coverage. It's also made for all skin types and it's also enriched with quinoa and black currant to help with redness and also help treat acne scars, dark spots and also any fine lines. So this is a water-based foundation so I need to shake it really well in order to mix up the ingredients together. And that is what the foundation looks like and I have the shade Dawn. So it has this little dropper here. And I'm just going to apply this to the back of my hand, a few drops. So if I'm looking, if I'm looking over this way, it's because I have the little mirror here. And straight away when I use this foundation, I can notice already that it's very thin in consistency. So it's very water-like. And I really like that because it means it's going to look really natural on my skin. So this shade that I have here is Dawn and I think it would be great if you have um, kind of like medium to light skin tone with a little bit of um, golden undertones or a little bit of yellow undertones. So that blended in really nicely and it gives me a light to medium coverage. It's definitely buildable as well. And if I want to, I can apply another layer, but I like to keep things pretty natural for during the day, especially if I'm having a good skin day. I don't really want to apply too much foundation, but I definitely will apply some concealer. And the concealer that I was sent is the Arnica concealer. And this concealer you can use for underneath your eyes. You can use for blemishes. Um, it's just a really great medium to full coverage concealer. So it looks like there and I have the shade Honey. So this concealer is a cream concealer and it has a really nice kind of smooth texture. So what I like about this concealer, it has Arnica in there which helps to treat your blemishes or, um, or redness. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which is great if you have, um, you know, a few blemishes on your skin and you want to cover those. I'm going to use this to brush by Aeropress, and I'm just buffing that into my skin. So next up, I have the rice powder bronzer, and I have the shade Tulum. And this bronzer I've been wanting to try for a while. I love the packaging of these. They're just very simple and very sleek. Really great for keeping in your handbag. And this is what this bronzer looks like. There is a lighter shade and a darker one. What I like to do is mix both together to create kind of like a custom shade. This bronzer also is multi-purpose or multitasking. You can use it as eyeshadow, contour, as a blush and you can also use it to apply on your lips so, so this bronzer doesn't have any um, shimmer in there so that's really great if you want to create that really nice natural bronzy look however it doesn't look too powdery on my skin either it kind of just blends all together so I'm going to just kind of mix these two together Again, this formula is breathable, so it won't clog your pores. And I think that's great for every day because if you're in the office all day or if you're at work and you want to wear more of a natural product, then this is a really great one just to ensure you're not going to clog your pores during the day. And I'm just gonna change brushes now to kind of use it as a blush. as an eyeshadow. So 
So I'm going to just apply a little bit of this shade here, the lightest one, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. Just as my eyeshadow. This also contains rice starch in there, so it, it absorbs oil throughout the day and also impurities. So I'm going to apply a little bit of a mixture of these to my lower lash line. I love that these are really kind of like earthy tones. Apply a little bit more of that darker shade. I love that these are really earthy kind of natural tones that just I think is going to suit a lot of different skin tones and especially if you like that really kind of natural makeup look. So these shades are really close to kind of like natural like browns and, and reds and um, things that kind of occur naturally in nature and um, just say if I was to get a bit of suntan I would go a little bit um, red or bronze so it's keeping a very natural look to my skin the next thing I have is the vanilla highlighter and this highlighter is so gorgeous this is in the shade Sun Halo the shade is very golden so I'm going to apply a little bit of that on my cheekbones there's also a lighter shade there is I think it's more of a kind of a silver this is also a multitasking product This highlighter is going to give you more of a natural kind of luminosity. And you can also use this on your eyelids and on your lips. So I'm going to apply a little bit there to create more of a kind of glossy lid. to lip product and I have two lip products that I was sent and I was sent the mango lip honey which is a new product and this is a gloss and I have the beetroot cheek and lip tint and this is in the shade joy which, which is a really bright red so this is what it looks like and this is a really long-lasting pigment for your cheeks and your lips so the shade Joy is a bright cherry red and it's a water-based formula so it means it's going to be a very thin consistency. So I'm going to first start off by applying a small amount. It looks pretty intense but because it's water-based it's going to be pretty translucent so it's going to give you that really nice kind of flushed cheek. I love these type of bright shades for my cheeks, especially in summer. It just gives so much life to your skin and instantly wakens you up. And I can feel that this is going to be long lasting because I can feel that it's setting when I'm kind of moving it around with my fingers. And then I just like to take a brush and kind of just work that in before it sets. So I wanted to show you this lip product and then I think I'm going to go back and apply a little bit of this Joy um, Bright Lip Tint just because I think that it's going to go well with my outfit. But I wanted to show you this one because it's such a pretty gloss and I have the Shango Lip Honey in the shade Chili which is such a gorgeous shade. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. But it's just a really you know what I'm gonna apply a little bit now and then I'm gonna go back in and apply the other one 
So this is a long wearing formula and it's a gorgeous kind of like bronzy icy nude shade and it's in a really glossy formula. It's also a vegan formula. It has jojoba seed oil as well as omega 9. So it has a lot of great benefits for your lips. It's definitely not going to dry your lips out during the day. So I'm going to just take this one off and apply the other one. Back to the beetroot lip tint. And it's so pigmented. So this is the lip tint for my lips and I can already feel that it's going to be really long lasting because it's already kind of settled into my lips and I find that it's very comfortable on my lips to wear and it kind of feels like I'm not wearing anything at all which I love especially if you're running errands during the day and you don't want to be retouching your lips um, every hour you can definitely just apply this and you're good to go. It also comes in a pinky shade as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching my makeup haul today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite product was from this mini haul. Um, and if you've tried any of the products from this brand, what's your favorite? I'd love to know. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.